Hello lovelies and welcome to Two, Two Direction. Direction. I'm Sona and I'm Jyoti. We're here today in St. Pancras Old Church for a wonderful exclusive. Yes indeed, we are meeting with beautifully talented actress and singer Karen David for her new launch Dust to Stars. You may know her from BBC One series Waterloo Road. Check out the interview now. Hi, I'm Karen David and I'm with Two Direction with the lovely Sana and Jyoti. So please tell us about your background coming from uh, an Indian background all the way to Canada and then you started your career in London as well, didn't you? It's been a bit of a circle, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Or a triangle or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> Geography. <laughs> my, my, my parents, I was born in the Himalayas yep. and then my parents came, did a pit stop in London initially and then my dad got transferred to Toronto. Yeah. Nice. So um, they're there and um, I wanted to come back and study uh, drama over here in, in Guildford actually. Oh wow. And, and yeah, I love Guildford so much. Great student town. <laughs> I always say that. I Born in the Himalayas, Grew up in Toronto, yeah. developed in London. London. London yeah. <laughs> London so I'm very town. much European at heart. Nice to be. <laughs> cool. So your EP, Dust to Stars, is out today. Yeah, today, it, is. Guys. it is. So tell us a bit more about the inspiration behind it, um, you know, whether you helped write it and what the song's about. Dust to Stars kind of sums up my whole um, love for music and why yeah. I wanted to get into music for the first time. Yeah. And that's when I was a little girl, four years old, with my older sister sitting yeah. in front of this big TV oh. watching Xanadu and Olivia right. Newton-John yeah. singing and acting oh. amazingly. Blonde, Green. blue eyes. Yeah, <laughs> blonde and blue eyes and everything. And, and my parents, right from a young age, um, they would they had loved music so much and they would take me to these um, outdoor concerts in the summertime in Toronto mm -hmm. and I would see their favorites so like Cool and the Gang and, and wow. The Temptations and Smokey Robinson. I love The Temptations. They have am <laughs> Earth, Wind and Fire. I mean amazing taste in music and I was just so mesmerized by their live performances and after that and then watching Xanadu with my sister I just thought I, I have to do both, I have to do this. So I really wanted to um, celebrate that feeling and that energy you know from when I was that little girl and yeah. I, it, that memory is so palpable like I still remember what it felt like yeah. when I was bitten by it yeah. and wanting to pursue my dreams there and um, you know I took some time out this year to figure out what sound I wanted to, to do and create yeah. and yeah. that represented me and where I am in my life and I wanted something happy and feel good you know even if it is for three minutes and 46 seconds or whatever yeah. you know, I just I just wanted to to have a little well, burst of sunshine in, yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so that's what I kind of put into songs like daydreamer and yeah. dust to stars that whole analogy of you know everyone knows that when you start your 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 life's path about where you want to go and what you want to do and what you want to make of yourself yeah. you have to start from and you start from the beginning you start yeah. from yeah. nothing from to something to so i put the analogy of dust to stars which I, to write songs that people could relate to yes. and yeah. and it's often when you write personal things that they become quite universal so mm -hmm. i just hope that this ep it, it's a taster of what's to come for a full length album but it's yeah. also kind of um i want my fans to be able to you know smile you know and feel good about cool. themselves and say hey life ain't so bad this is Aww. good <laughs> So you are multi-talented. You have done your <laughs> acting as well, as we all know you from the BBC One series Waterloo Road. Please tell us about how you got into that role. You know, I had just finished filming in Bora Bora, yeah, Couples nice. Retreat, and I had come back to LA and then flew straight back home to London. And my agent, I was so jet lagged, she told me, you've got to go for this meeting for Waterloo Road. And I had heard about Waterloo Road, I'd seen some episodes in the past, but I just assumed it was for a guest star, okay. which is nothing wrong. I mean, it's amazing in yeah. itself, but I, so I just didn't think... I was think so excited to be able to play a character that's very different from me. Obviously, yeah. no, I don't do the teacher-student thing <laughs> at home. Don't do that at home, anyone. But, um, playing, you know, the, the Spanish teacher, it's it's been so great not to be typecast in different yeah, roles. I've been yeah. able to have quite a diverse range of different roles to play. So this yeah. this was definitely a roller coaster of a role to play. Yes, but your husband yes. is a Swedish songwriter. <laughs> so tell us, it's a bit of a tongue twister to say that. Yeah, I have Swedish to say. songwriter, <laughs> yeah, or producer, Carl. producer. Oh, Carl. Carl. Yeah. Just call him Carl. Carl. Now, Will we see any collaborations between the two of you? Or have you done any collaborations? Well, I met Carl that way when we were collaborating. Ooh. And the minute that he opened the door, and you know, I love him. <laughs> He's just this, you know, such a lovely guy. I thought, oh, what a lovely that's human why being. You married him. That's why I married him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was so sweet and so handsome, so cute, hey. and um, and and so talented. That's how we met. But and we wrote. Thank God, we had great writing chemistry. Can oh, you imagine wow. if if if. <laughs> 
he wrote and I wrote together and it just didn't happen. Oh, that would not be terrible. There was chemistry on stage. No, there was chemistry <laughs> on stage, so that was good. And, um, you know, we were we were writing and collaborating and for this album he produced a few of the tracks. Yeah. yeah. But he's so busy and I feel so bad sometimes because he's like writing with the Saturdays or with mm, Cher yeah. and I'm like, okay, and I'm thinking he's too busy. But then I just think, no, hang on a second. Oh. We're going to write. Uh, <laughs> so maybe for the album. Really she, wears she wears the trousers. trousers. Um, so, quick fire round. We're mm-hmm. going to ask you quick, just very quick questions. You're not allowed to hesitate. Impromptu. You have to just answer yeah. whatever comes to your head. Okay? Okay. Are you favorite, ready? <laughs> okay. Favorite holiday destination? Uh, Kauai. Um, Batman or Robin? Batman. Yeah. <laughs> favorite um, place that you've ever worked in? Bora Bora. And the most inspirational male person in your life? My dad. Hey, Papa <laughs> Lee, <girl. laughs> Papa G. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank to you very much. It's yes, so much definitely. fun. You should do this multicolored, you know. Yes, yes, yes. I think we should. We're like a rainbow. These secondary colors. <laughs> I'm loving it. We're back it. to school. Hang on, this is going to the road all over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again. It's been a pleasure. Guys, you've been Watch watching out for Karen this girl. David. Ciao for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.